the Apple Tree Motorhome Hunter's Chase is next in from Stratford. And a two and a quarter mile race this one. And the top one is Baron Scroop for James Shea. Betonia Hoos for Ryan Costello has also got Greystone, Rosenit, Nina for Daniel French, Stowaway African Vinnie Gerard, Tin Pot Morris for Graham Clutterbuck, Edge Four Threes and Post Footsy for Thomas Rogers and last week's winner Sarka for Martin Leadham. So nine of them this time in the first of the Hunters at Stratford and away they go. And who's going to be the first one to show? It looks like he might well be Sarko who looks to go on in the lead. Often gets collared or falls over but last week managed to stay in front all the way to the line. And claim her victory for the season. Can double up with another one today it would be good. And leads by about two lengths. The rest of them pretty tightly grouped. Baron Scroop probably just about showing second, but Rose Nina in the blue jacket is now moving forward into that position. And Sarka's not gone off as quickly as normal as they make their way towards the first of the 11 and still managed to run straight through the top of the fence. Though maybe got a mistake out of the way early on today, but it's Rose Nina closest to us who probably just took over the lead for a stride or two there. But Sarka has got the rail and has now regained her equilibrium and jumped the ditch nicely is back in the lead. So Sarka's in front then from Rosneath Nina second, the two Greys are next, Greystone and Tinpot Morris, then Baron Scroop, Batonia Hoos is on the inside of that one and the one right on the rail is Stowaway African as they get over the third with Post Footsie and Edge 4 freeze the back two. They're bowling along at a sensible sort of gallop with Sarka in the lead. Rosneath Nina now tucked in behind in second and Greystone, Tinpot Morris is widest of all in the grown clutterbook colours but they're all pretty nicely grouped as they get over number four all jumping well now only one mistake so far really that one from Sarka early on as they come down towards the next and they're coming in front of the stand actually now and Sarka will lead them past the winning post with a complete circuit to go Swing off left handed and one more circuit to the oven. Oh, Sarka in the lead. Roseneath Nina is in second. Tim Pop Boris is back in third. And then Batonia Hoos on the inside as they take the fifth. And it was Batonia Hoos that made the mistake there and has dropped right back to join his stable mate Greystone towards the rear of the field. But Sarka still in front. Roseneath Nina is second. Tim Pop Boris has now moved to the inside in third. A bit of a gap then to Stowaway African and Post Footsie. And then Botonia Hoos is recorded from that mistake pretty quickly. And they all jump number six nicely with number seven coming up next. And Sarka is in the lead over that ditch. Good jump there by Rosneath Nina has seen her jump into the lead. And Tim Pot Morris is now being switched to the outside to make a challenge. But Sarka and Rosneath Nina have put some pace into the race all of a sudden as they swing left handed then now. And Sarka's back in the lead on the inside with Rosneath Nina on the outside second. Then coming up behind them is Tim Pot Morris. Looks to be going best of the three. Bit of a gap then, but to Batonia Hoos is running on again. Then Stowaway Africa and Greystone, also Baron Scroop trying to get into it. Post Footsie also is now at yeah, edge four threes, probably is. But it's Sarka and Rose Neath Nina coming down towards the fourth from home. Then it's Sarka still in the lead, gets over it nicely. Bit of a mistake by Tim Pot Morris when he looked to be going well, but Sarka still in front. Rose Neath Nina second, Tim Pot Morris third, then Batonia Hoos. Then comes Stowaway Africa and Baron Scroop looking strong on the outside. Greystone's going to try and creep up the inside over the final ditch. That was a third from home as a faller at the back edge four freeze is gone rose neath nina then he's just taking it up again now Sarka comes under pressure greystone has come from the back and suddenly burst into the lead and it's greystone is taking it up Sarka fights back over the second last better jump by greystone greystone now goes two lengths clear off Sarka in second rose neath nina third baron group four tim pot morris didn't find anything under pressure and it's greystone who's now gone two or three clear Sarka's trying to battle on they're racing down towards the final fence in the final furlong and a half and it's greystone over in the lead but a slow jump, Sarka jumps it really well and is beginning to close, but Greystone is powered away again, and racing now into the final furlong, Sarka's got nothing left, Greystone is suddenly clear, and Stowaway African, the only one really coming out of the pack, although Tim Pop Morris is staying on, but Greystone takes it, Greystone wins it then from Stowaway African in second, Tim Pop Morris will be third, Sarka just holding on to four from Baron Scroop and Rosemith Nina, and then Batania who's on post footsie. So Greystone takes it, Oh, a good five or six lengths, pretty easy win really for the favourite. And the 
cheering Thespians will be delighted with that one as Greystone wins. And there it is, Greystone takes it then for Ryan Costello, Stowaway African for Vinnie Gerard second, Tin Pop Morris for Graham Clutterbuck was third, Baron Scroop for James Shea was fourth, and Sarka for Martin Leland was fifth. Not quite sure why that wasn't a well, that wasn't a handicap. They normally handicap those onto chases, but that one seems to have been run as a conditions race.